Hello everyone, Gilbert here. Welcome to Red Dragon Model Works. Um, first, let me start off by apologizing for not um, uploading uh, many videos the last couple of weeks. It's just I've been sick, you know, my wife's been sick, and then, you know, with life, and um, my father and lost his brother, and just life got in the way. So forgive me for that, guys. Second is I didn't, uh, we didn't have a um, Styrene Syndicate show this weekend, and um, I wasn't able to upload a video to uh, to forewarn you brothers that uh, we didn't do that. Excuse my phone. So um, my my computer was in the shop. So forgive us. For, we'll be back next week with the same uh, shenanigans on uh, Sons of Styrene, but also we'll have our show next week also. But this one here, this video is threefold. There's three things I'm going to discuss in this video, and I hope you stick around for all three of them. The first being um, the Styrene Syndicate tank group build. Um, I have my entry into it. It's not 100% complete because there's still a lot more work I want to do to it. But for all intents and purposes, it's done. The second being the 2014 box stock community build. Um, I didn't make it underneath the, the, the deadline, so I'm going to be about a week late with that. So I hope uh, we'll discuss that in a minute. And the third being is it's an announcement on a group build that I'm doing with the Sty uh, on my Styrene Brotherhood Google Plus page. So... Stick around for all that, guys. I'll discuss all that after the jump here. So sit back, get yourself a cup of coffee, and I'll be back in a second, brothers. All right, brothers. First things first. Here is my entry into the Styrene Syndicate um, community tank build. Now, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, it's not 100% complete. There's still some weathering that I'd like to do on it, but we'll get around to that. You know at a later date um, as you can see the painting's done I got the decals on here and here um, right here I lost the railing here and I can't find it broke off but it is what it is um, also I don't I'm not digging the way those are looking I use that to me that uh, testers uh, brown uh, rubber and if you you know if you can you can see here that it's a little bit oh sorry about that you can see here that it's a little bit too red or uh, brown so I'm gonna use a wash and go over this to darken them up a little bit and that should work I tested it on a on a spoon and a black uh, oop, a black wash seemed to do a seemed to darken it up and it looks really nice but as you can see I'm I kind of the, the the camouflage scheme um. I, I wasn't feeling it at first, but it grew on me. So, I'm kind of digging it. I still need to go in. Let me back this up just a hair. I still need to go in, like here, and then, you know, weather up the muzzle, put some uh, some soot around the muzzle blast, chip it with some uh, uh, aluminum or dark, you know, just chip it up a little bit. I still need to go and chip all this up. Um... I'm starting, I started to do the bleaching, and if I can get in a little closer, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, let me let me do this a little bit right there. Let me bring that up just a hair. I don't know if you can see it, but right in here, I started to bleach it, you know, to give it a fade. And then there's streak marks, you know. I don't know if you can see them very well. Let me see if I can get that up there. Just come on, focus for me. She doesn't want to focus. Really? Anyway, if I can get this to focus just a hair. Let me back up a little bit. Back it up. Yeah, it's not going to focus right th at the moment. But anyway, I don't know if you guys can see how I got the... I started... There's, there's some streaking like here. You can see the streaking I started here. And I started streaking it here. All along here with the bleaching, you got the streaking, you got the little marks here. So this is going to be a, long, a project that's going to take me a little bit because I want to do this right. Same thing here. I still need to go in and then rust up all these pieces here. This piece right here that was broken uh, or warped, I need to go in there. Now, this, again, this came like, I, I received a kit like this and it was warped and there was a crack in there. As though it got in heat. But you know what? I'll make that to, to work in my advantage. So I need to go in and, and, you know, weather all that up. Same thing here. Like I said, I started with oil paints, you know, giving it some 
you know, some streaks. I still need to go in there with some black and whatever. Um, chip it all up in the front here. I still need to do some chipping down in here. The whole thing needs to be chipping. I still need to go in. Let me take this off. You know, dry brush the, the tracks. Um, this part is going to be on the bottom, so you're not. I'm not really too concerned about that. But I need to go in and dry brush all this and then chip it all up. So, and then, you know, like the tool, the, the box is here. Um, I'll take the tracks back off because the only thing that's glued on are the road wheels, but this one, the sprockets aren't. So I can pop this off anytime I want, get inside here and weather all that up. So for, for all intents and purposes, this is done. Um, the turret, you know, I, I, I need to go in and, and hit it with a coat of, uh, I want to go in and get a, um, put a wash on it, which I already did, but uh, I did it here just to test it, but I want to put it all over everything, you know, to weather down those uh, decals and then, you know, chip them up a little bit. Same thing with this. That's a little bit too bright for me. So I want to go in and start, you know, weathering that down, dirty them up, um, chip all around here. These here need to be painted a black right here. These three pieces, like this piece, there are covers on there. So th this is more of a clear, but this one and this one need to be painted that needs to be painted, brush painted like a darker um, color here, you know. And I still need to chip all this up. So, for for all intents and purposes, I'm calling this one done. So this is my, this was my entry. Oh, I'm sorry. The other thing I need to do is, uh, excuse me, like back here. But these, oops, these barrels here, I'm going to paint those. I got to mask this off. And I want to paint these a different, you know, like a different color, maybe a, a like a rusty brown color. And then you have these straps that are in here that I want to paint, you know, hand paint. So there's going to be a little bit more work done to this. A lot more weathering when I get done with this. I want to beat it up. Well, not beat it up, but weather it up. Um, like it's been out in the field for use. So, and these these decals were a nightmare there. These are Tamiya's. This is an old Tamiya kit. These decals were thick as, as molasses. So I ended up using what I use for uh, for these heavy decals. This is what I use. The Walter Salva set. This stuff is great. I also have the Microsol and Microset. But this stuff for me, you know, when you got these thick decals, I use this. The only problem with this is that brush is, you know, leaves much to be desired. So I've... Uh, I've de you know I've taken some out of here, put it in a Tamiya bottle, you know, a few months ago, and I used the Tamiya uh, brush for it. So anyway, that's that. And it seems you know they they there's no silvering. They laid down really nice. They're pretty flat. They look painted on. They're just too bright for the moment. Um, and then oh, there's one more thing. Where is it? Um, right about here. I can see. Um, anyway, there's an antenna that, I, that that needs to go on this, and I and and right here there's a a piece of track that I still need to put on. But she's done, guys. So there's my entry into the Styrene Syndicate uh, community tank build. So that's that. That's for this one. Um, the other thing was the. Uh, 2014 box stock build. Now that I'm running a little late. You know, um, I wanted to have it done by this weekend, but again, you know, there's some things that happened here at home, and I wasn't able to finish it up. So a couple, another week or so, and I should have it done. So, but here's the, there's the uh, the inner tub. You know, this is pretty cool because it came with these um, these decals, you know, for seat belts. So that's pretty cool. And, you know, I, I painted the outside the same color I painted the interior. Now, I was going to just leave it a primer, but, you know, you start messing with stuff and you just don't leave well enough alone. This has been the, the roll cage there, or the roll bar, that was all cladded, you know, that's all clad chrome. And then I just took some uh, uh, Vallejo NATO black and I just painted this right here. You know, like I wanted it to, uh, I'm sorry, German Grey, Vallejo German Grey. 
So this still needs a, a, um, a coat, a, you know, some maybe some semi-gloss or gloss, whatever, to put on there just to seal it. Maybe I'll just hit it with a, a light mist of future. Because once it's inside the car, you're never going to mess with this. So I might just hit it with a light uh, hint of future. But even the, the pedals were all cladded. These right here, the little, uh, uh, what do you call them? The gauges, that was all cladded right there. This is all cladded in aluminum right here. So, And then on the back here, this this kit, they give you a decal to, for the, the gauges, but they don't give you anything else to put on there. So I took, I cut a little piece of uh, plastic off of um, a sheet of, of plastic that I had, and I, I cut a little uh, piece out of there, and I put the decal on it. And if you look closely, it kind of, you can see the gauges, and it looks like it's got the glass in there. So, and then I wanted to paint the interior the same color that I painted the body. So... But I'll get to the body in a second. Let me put this off to the deal. It looks right there. It looks pretty cool. Um, this rolling chassis. Now, I lost one of these pieces here. You know, uh, for the exhaust. So I'm just going to leave it like it is for now. You know, this is my box stock bill. And later on, I'll come back with it. And I'm going to put a, uh, you know, just maybe work some kind of a exhaust system in here for later. I'm not going to do it now because this is supposed to be a box stock group build. The chassis was uh, all cladded in, in aluminum. Um, and I just feathered it in there to give it a brushed aluminum look. I didn't go heavy on it. All of this is, this is uh, aluminum also, all clad aluminum. These are all clad aluminum. Um, excuse me for a second. Sorry about that. That was my phone. Um, this is uh, all clad aluminum. The transmission, the motor, all of this is an all-clad. I all-cladded the top here of the radiator. This is all-cladded. And then let me carefully flip her upside down. That's all-cladded, chrome, all-cladded. Um, all, everything except for the black is all-clad. I also did the same with the tires, the rims. They're all-cladded there in the chrome. The other thing that I thought was pretty cool about this is the this kit comes with for the tires. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get into it right there. They have uh, cali uh, like br disc brakes, and then you got the brake calipers right there. You know, so I painted those. Oh, come on. Let me see. I painted those red, right inside there. I painted the the discs, uh, chrome, and. The actual brake calipers red and on both sides and then in the front also if you could see look in there um, let me see if I can get you to, I don't know if you can see that but there, there it is there's one of them right there so here's that and there's the the chassis I kind I, I want to find another one of these because I, I really dig dig making this and I got some ideas with another one with raising it up a little bit um, from what I understand, this is not the right motor that was in this car, but you know, we'll we'll see. But I, I got some ideas for a new one. I want to raise it up a little bit, bigger tires on the back, um, bigger tires in the front. But you know, anyway, here's the body. That's what I did with the body. Now this was painted in testers, uh, revving red, the one coat revving red. Came out really nice. Like I said, I was gonna leave it black, but I, I really like the way this I this this uh, red came out. Now it's got a couple of little goobers, very tiny. You won't be able to see them on the camera, I don't think. But there's one there. There's one here. There's a couple here, and that's in the clear. And this has got uh, two coats of clear, two coats of clear on it. And I need to go ahead and wet sand that just a little lightly. I'll probably go in with a eight thousand and then up. And then hit it two more times. I still need to put the bare metal foil across here, across there. I'm going to, these I'm going to leave red. Now, I was thinking about bare metal foiling those, but I'm going to leave them red. It'll just have the bare metal foil across here, right across here. Um, you know, like here, 
but there's going to be none here. Um, I was thinking of using either the, the chrome bare metal foil or I have some black chrome. So I might use the black chrome to see how that looks on there. Um, I'll do a test piece and see how it looks. But I, I'm thinking the black chrome will look nice on this. You know, like in here, you know, put some black chrome in there. Um, this here, there's no way for me to get in there without having, I didn't notice that, without having to score that and then putting that in there. So I might not even bother with the, here in the front, but I think like here and across the piece here, I think I might go with the black chrome. Even here, I might even do those. Anyway, um, and then this piece right here, I might even do in the black chrome right there. But I got the inside also so there's the body again this needs to be wet sanded and two more I'm gonna put two I'm gonna wet sand it put two more coats of clear on there see how that that uh that uh the bare metal the black chrome bare metal foil will look on that and then once I got that on there hit it with another coat of clear and here's the hood now here's where I kind of screwed up I'm going to have to wet sand this again. I had this really nice. It was perfect. I went to move it, and I bumped it up against something. And right there, you see that goober? Right there. I'm going to try to, I have to sand that down. Now, hopefully, I can get that sanded down, but it looks like I might have to repaint that. Right there, you see it? Right about, where's it at? Right there. So, it looks like I might have to hit this one more time. So, I might just sand this all down, just the top of it here. You know the whole thing um hit it with another coat just to hide that let that dry sand that down and hit it with because this has got three coats of clear on it as it stands now but um she need i still need the chrome pieces on her i was working on those last night um i noticed uh like the front but this is how she's gonna look and i you know she looks really wicked man there it is what do you guys think? I mean, she she looks, she's mean. Kind of reminds me of the ZZ Top, and that's what I was going after. Right, there she is. I think she looks really good. So, I still need to put... Oh, Jesus, don't drop it, Gil. I still need to put the chrome pieces here. I still need to put the grill here. And I still need to put the pieces in the back. I'm not going to put... I was debating about putting this piece on this is a bumper on the back but i kind of like the curvature without this on there and um these i had to reshoot yesterday in all clad so i had to all clad these again and i still need to buff them a little bit very lightly you know i usually go with a cotton ball or um, a q-tip and i'll just buff them real lightly and then i need to put these on there so but that's where we're at with this um, again, like I said, um, I was hoping to have this all complete, um, but I'm going to be about a week or so late. Um, uh, sorry about that, Chip and uh, DJ Scratchy, man. I mean, I wanted to get this done, but, you know, life got in the way, and I wasn't able to get it. But look at that shine, man. Isn't that nice? And I haven't even, like I said, it's just cleared, so I need to sand that down, but I haven't even polished that yet. So, I like that. Um, this still needs to get done, and then I was going to, oh, the last thing I did is I put those uh, decals, like right there, on the, on the, on the scoop, because I think it looks pretty cool with those decals, see if you see them right there, so, those are the champion spark plug decals, so I slapped those on there, just because I thought it was cool, oh, the other thing, um, I was watching your video, CT, there's mine, brother. You know, I use it all the time, man. You know, use mine all the time. Mine is a, um, uh, what is this? This is called a uh, AO Safely um, 3M, I believe. And it's an R5700. Uh, this one here is a, is a um, an industrial one. And it works really great right there. See it? So, all right, guys. You give me a second. I'm going to show you guys the last part of this uh, uh, video. So I'll be back in a minute. Now, as I mentioned a few moments uh, in the beginning of this video, um, Aaron Newlands and I, well, let me, let me backtrack here. A few months ago, um, a friend sent out some kits to a few people 
so we could test them out and see what they how they looked. They're great wall hobby kits. Now I'm I'm not one to put stuff in my stash and hoard stuff. I'm not a collector. I'm a builder. You know, and I know there's nothing wrong with them. I just me personally, I I don't have the resource to collect. So whatever I get, I build. So I was um I was pretty pretty stoked when I got this in the mail. I, I received this. I received I believe it was the R75 little BMW uh, World War II bike with the sidecar from Lion Roar. And I got a couple of photo etch parts that'll go with aftermarket parts that'll go with this kit here. So um, this is the kit I'm, I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to start tonight. It's a great wall hobby, 12.8 centimeter pack 44. This is a beautiful, beautiful kit. Now, I had mentioned to a few people that I wanted to do a um, an appreciation build for the brother that sent these out. Now, I'm not going to mention his name because, you know, I don't think he'd appreciate that. But he knows who he is, a hell of a shipbuilder, you know. Um, you know who you are, brother. And again, as my people, muchas gracias, thank you. But um, I had mentioned it to uh, Cohen C, and, and I know he's a busy man these days, but I, I also mentioned it to Aaron Newlands. Of a, mentioned that I wanted to do a, um, a group build. You know, an appreciation group build. So Aaron and I were talking, and I think I said something to Mike months ago, but I wanted to start this in November. So November 1st, which was yesterday, I believe, um, was the beginning of the Great Wall Hobby Community Group Build. You can go to the Styrene Brotherhood, um, my Google Plus page, the Styrene Brotherhood, if you guys would like to join and participate in this. I'm going to let this run. Um, March, uh, March 1st would be the end of it. So you got four months, uh, four or five months. So I'm going to let this run for a few months, you know, four or five months. And, um, the only stipulation on this group bill is it has to be a great wall hobby kit. It can be anything from them, but it has to be a great wall hobby kit. It uh, doesn't matter what you add to it. doesn't matter if you don't add to it. The only stipulation is that it is a great wall hobby kit and that you, if you join us, um, you you title your, uh, your video or your pictures that you put up so we can find them. Great wall hobby community group build. Uh, Aaron Newlands and I um, are, are sponsoring that in, on the Styrene Brotherhood. And... Um, if you guys are, are, are interested, um, if you have a kit or you'd like to get one, um, pick one up, join us, you know, anybody's welcome, male, female, young, old, it doesn't matter. Um, just uh, post your updates on, on the Styrene Brotherhood so we can see them. And then let me know, you know, that way I can keep a tally of um, who's who and we can uh, do updates on them and show people. You know, make a video and like a little montage of where you're at, you know, on your group builds. And I'd like to do that maybe once every two weeks. You know, if you've got some pictures and you put them up there, I'll, I'll snip a couple of pictures, make a video, slide them in there, show them where everybody's at in their progress. So you can contact myself or Aaron Newlands at the Styrene Brotherhood and let us know if you'd like to join. This is my entry into it. Uh, this pack 44. I'm also going to, going to be looking for... Um, I was going to do it this weekend, but I just paid to get this darn thing fixed, so it's going to have to wait for a month or so. But um, I'm also, I think I'm going to find, look for that right there, the Great Wall one, this one right here. And the reason being is because I have a Tamiya flat gun that I want to put on there with some really nice photo etch, and I want to put that gun on here and then get some figures to stand around it. What I'd like to do with this with this, is make a, a, um, a diorama where you have the gun, um, getting, you know, guys standing around, the gun, you know, aimed, you know, getting ready to, to, um, to either be serviced or fire, you know, just sitting there, you know, and then the truck next to it, you know, um, maybe add a couple of gun positions around it, you know, and just guys milling about. So the, the diorama is probably going to be about, you know, this is the board, excuse me, this is one of the boards that I'm thinking about putting it on. Right there. So you'll have the gun, 
you'll have the truck and then sandbags and just people milling about. But this is the board I'm going to be using it for it. So that's the diorama I have in mind. So if you guys like to join, you're more than welcome to come and hang out with us, man, on uh, this group building. The more the merrier, man. So, so that's it for my announcements. Um, that's it for my uh, November update. Um, I'll, hopefully I'll get back in the swing of things now that I got the computer running right. And, um, you know, I got a new uh, microphone here. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. This thing here is really great. Got it on Amazon. It was a damaged box for $90 shipped with Prime. Things work. The thing works great. You know, I was having trouble with the microphone on my on my laptop here and I noticed that I'm speaking louder because I yeah could anyway anyway we got it fixed so now the only thing is to get the internet fixed I'm on a hard line because this wireless is just pain but um that's it man I hope you brothers have a great week and I hope the, this video finds you each and every one of you in good spirits uh, good health you know I hope that uh, well and prosperity and good health to each and every one of you, man. You know, take care of your children, love your families, man. And, you know, every now and then, you know, go out and get some fresh air, man. But make sure you always spend some time to build a model, brothers. Red Dragon, say, peace. Later, brothers. Ciao.